you're going to need to take care of your herring, especially if you're in a place where herring is scarce. First of all, when you buy herring, you want to make sure that the herring is top quality. You'll be able to tell that by how many loose scales there are, but a lot of times in the wilderness, you've got to go with what you have. So what I like to do is, I like to brine my herring. And the way I do that is, I go out and I get some seawater. Now this water shouldn't be from an area that has any pollutants. You want to go out of the harbor, if you have your boat in the harbor, and get your brining water, get the good salt water away from port. Because in port, you've got a lot of pollutants from boats. So what I've done is I've gone to get some good quality water. Okay. Any measuring device, it doesn't matter, because we're only talking about parts. This is going to be one part, it's just a standard cup. Let's put some water into our, into our brine bucket here. There's two parts, three parts. So you're going to make your brine out of rock salt, powdered milk, and you don't have to use this, but you can if you have access to this. This is freeze-dried herring, and this is what I use in my personal scent, Super Scent. You can get freeze-dried herring off the internet at halibut.net, but you don't have to use this. This is just going to give it an added scent. So what I'm going to do is take three parts salt to one part powdered milk, and you're probably wondering why powdered milk? Powdered milk will act as a preservative and it's also going to brighten up the herring. Now the freeze-dried herring don't have to be precise. Just put a little bit in. It kind of looks like dried up wood, but whew, boy, that's potent. Let's put that in there. Shake it up, mix it up. Now let's put our herring in there. 